Hey guys, welcome to Simpler Futures in our video for Tuesday night, May the May the second. Uh, take a look at the YM here. We're seeing er nice early morning moves, and then it's beginning to get pretty choppy throughout the afternoon session. Still seeing some good plays, but you have to be really patient. Now look this morning, the move that we saw from this high down to the low, and look where we go with it. 62% uh, retracement, a Fibonacci retracement, and then come back and test this low. Now, when you see this and it holds the low, I like to look for it to revisit back up to the high. Now, this is about what a 40, about a 50, 55 point move. It's not a big move, but it's a pretty decent uh, technical move that we've seen here. And then we begin to just kind of end up. And take a look from, from this high to the low, look at the 50% and look where we ended up today, right here, right in the middle of it. So uh, opportunities are here. You just have to, most of it's been scalping, pretty good opportunities. So now let's take a look at, let me get this back. Take a look at the uh, July soybeans. I've been mentioning in the videos about support down here, which would be at the time I was looking at the May contract and it was about 940 and this put us right down at these lows around 965, 960 in the July contract. You can see the move that we've seen in here, or, or yeah, 960. And we've moved this market to A level we put in a high at 977. Now these lows, let me let me revamp that. This lows was 950. That was a five-minute chart that I was looking at. Where are we going from here? I'd be real skeptical about it. We may still see a push to the downside one more time in the soybean market. Now the wheat market made a really nice move yesterday, and we've got a gap here. And with this gap off of the daily chart, I would think that we're going to go down and fill that support level here around nine at 535. Also, and going to go ahead and look at the corn too. Corn made a nice move, but it's up against the resistance. And I would look for it to come right back down to the 100 period EMA at 387. Uh, we closed at uh, 389 three quarters. Now, if we don't find support here, then we very easily on the corn could come back and retest lows uh, down around the uh, 375 and possibly even these lows down around 360 again. Right now they're looking to see if corn is going to have some problems. They're saying wheat's had some problems. So all it's done, it's added some fuel to the fire and given us an opportunity in here to pick up some nice trades in the grains. So if you get the ES and the YMs a little bit stagnant, go over here to the grains and watch to see what happens. Guys, good trading. See you in the next update.